Do you know if the bus is still arriving anytime soon? I wish there was another way! Hey, Jack. Ryan! What's going on? What's going on? I'm having such a frustrating morning. The bus is late. I'm late to work, but this looks like a great option. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's easy to use. It's convenient. And I don't know if you're in a jam right now, but could get you out of it. I don't think my bus is going to get here on time. You have a few minutes to spare for me to get a lesson? Yeah, man. Let me show you. First thing you need is a helmet. And luckily, I have an extra one with me. <laughs> Ryan, so you just happen to carry an extra helmet in your backpack? Can't be too safe with these scooters. We at Consumer Reports have been reporting on these things a lot recently. And last year alone, we found at least 1,500 people were injured riding these. Oh, wow. And studies are showing first-time riders especially are getting injured. So okay. let me show you some pointers. First thing, this is your brake. Brake. It's your throttle. Throttle. It'll take you right off. OK. Just step on and then hit the throttle. Off you'll go. That sounds simple enough. It's pretty easy. Let's do it. OK, here we go. Hey, hey, Jack, how far are you going? <laughs> hey, you really took off there. Oh, yeah. By the way, I love these scooters. How do I get one? Uh, you can buy them. Are they affordable? Yeah, a few hundred bucks up on to $1,500. It's comparable to a good bike. OK, and what's the best use of them? If you live in a city and you have a commute that's about a mile or two long, it's pretty easy to use for that just because it's quick and short. Obviously, scooters are a lot of fun, and teens probably want to ride just for that reason. If you live in cities where there's uh, e-scooter shared programs, it's kind of really easy. You just download the app for one of the companies that makes them available, and then you just find them, unlock them, and then get up and go, and then leave them wherever you end up. So where can I ride these? On the streets, sidewalks? Check your city's regulations on this, because it varies wherever you live. But if you have bike lanes, that's the safest bet. Now, what about battery life? Uh, the manufacturers say it starts around 15 miles, depending on the model, and on up from there. And can you plug them into a wall? Generally, you can plug them into uh, outlets. Again, check and see what the manual says for your uh, model. Is there anything else I need to know, Ryan? Yeah, some of the rental companies, they, they say it's safer to ride during the day. Most cities, they have regulations about how fast you can ride them around 10 to 15 miles per hour, depending on where you are. And if you're renting them, or if it's your own, you should try to park it nicely. Don't just leave it in the middle of the sidewalk so people can trip over them. Just be courteous. I think I might actually get one. By the way, speaking of ride sharing, I think I'm going to give this another ride. Thanks a lot, Ryan! Jack. Hey, Jack, Jack! 